Hey guys, what is up? This is the Dead Frontier one off. As you know, Jack does the series for Dead Frontier and he's absent, so I am going to show you my third character. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you around Dog's Stockade. Now, after ni right, after Nastia, uh, you sh right, this is Dog. Right, I'll just read the mission. So, man, my damn idiot of brother just got his hand bitten clean off by one of those zombie chicks about a mile or so from here. The doc reckons he can probably reattach it if we find it quickly enough. I know my brother, and I know losing his right hand is going to be a fate worse than death, if you get my meaning. I've marked the location where he lost it on your map. Go there and find his hand. I don't care if you have to gut every zombie chick in the area. Just find it. So, yeah, this is Dog. And you set up like a little outpost near the top of the map. So yeah, we pretty much set up another outpost now around. You should probably set off to the out dogs around level ten. Uh, because that's when you should be not getting enough XP from the missions over at Nasia's. Alright. A little message. Jack will be explaining all of this, I think. Uh, oh, I've got a cold. Right. This is my character. Let's wait for it all to load. I've got my combats, my military coat. My master crafted cult python. My master crafted chainsaw, Dylan RPS. And my nail bat. I have my killer vest. And I have a shirt. So let's just pop that all back on. see what else about my yeah my character is a gold member uh, gold members basically get more perks within the game uh, like credits right, I'll take it to the credit shop credits are pretty much very good currency within the game like uh, you could buy credits for like a hundred for about five pounds and buy like a stat reset for 100 credits Maybe see what other armor. A Xylon vest, a Kelva vest, which I'm using, an SN42, a mesh, and just a lot of good stuff. Now, when you sign up for membership, let's just have a look at this. I'm already a gold member. Yeah, so these are the perks of what you get you get 200 free credits every single month you earn double xp you earn double rewards for missions massively improved looting chances big discounts on all credit shop items reviving just five seconds access to exclusive gold member only forums training features before they're officially released set to custom forum title of your choice prior priority technical support Right, so they're the perks. What else might not might Jack not explain? Ah, all the aspects of the meeting hall. Right, you've got your news where your announcements and rules and information is. You've got your gold member discussions, your general Dead Frontier discussion, your clan discussion. I'm currently in a clan called Grandma's Family. A very cool group. Uh, you've got your buy-in for like trying to buy item items at a discount, which just won't go at uh, the marketplace. Services. Uh, now I have. Uh, there are a lot of a uh, few cool services. Like, for instance, here adopt a noob, which is basically a veteran at the game of vet would basically take you on and show you all the cool stuff 
Right, let's see who's posted. Can I be hooked up with a new, please? I would like to help someone new, new to the game out. Mike PM me, please, about what you think would be a good reward system. Level 76 athlete. Now, right there by the level, you can tell that this person's obviously not a noob. Okay. I will also show you. I don't got any money. Right, I'm going to show you how to heal, repair, and cook your things. Okay, uh, I'm already a doctor so I can administer my own things, but look, services medical, where it says they can be administered by doctor level 15 and over. So just scroll down to 15s, you'd simply, yeah, I'll buy it anyway, simply drag it on there, and uh, you can see my health on the side gone from critical to injured just because it was administered by a doctor. If you did that yourself, then that would have only increased to about a serious amount. And that's not very, very good at all because antibiotics and antiseptic sprays are hard to lose. They're mainly found in cars and big trucks. Alright, let's go into cooking. Baked beans. Oh, okay. I'm assuming level 15. No, it doesn't need to be cooked, okay. Tinned hot dogs can be cooked by chef level 15. You'd simply drag your hot dogs there by skill. And I got cooked tinned hot dogs. Now you can sell them. Just go into items. Food. And just search hot. Should be able to find some. Yep, cook tins hot dogs. The lowest price is going for £720. Now I could just go into selling, for instance. Cook tin hot dogs. Sell them for 700 And right there, just from working the van, I've got £700. So that's really about a $400 profit. Dollars being because this game is actually American. Alright, uh, I'll go into the gambling, gambling den because I believe uh, Jack didn't actually show you what this is. Alright, uh, bet between £100 and 100000 So basically what you do if you bet £100, uh, you'll be rewarded with £200. Basically the amount you bet doubles if you win. If I just click bet, keep round the queen. Now this is obviously too hard for me, so I just click any random one basically uh, so that's pretty much it uh, I wonder if my hot dogs have sold already I know they go quite fast still going for 700 suppose I could show you a bit of in a city near Dog Stockade. Can't really see this much. It needs to be the recording needs to be wider. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to load, so I think we will just end the video here. I hope you can join me in my Modern Warfare 3, Skyrim, Minecraft videos. This is strictly Jack, apart from the one-offs when he's absent. You can see me in Happy Wheels. Uh, loads of them. Loads. Alright, see you later, guys.